hey guys welcome back welcome back to today's video thank you so much for tuning in again today guys i so much appreciate each and every one of you thank you thank you thank you so guys as you can see from today's title we are going to be styling this one uh wide leg pants so guys before we get into today's video in case you're just seeing this channel for the very first time just seeing this face thank you so much for clicking my name is nancy on this channel we focus on how to style one piece over and over again get to get multiple way out of what you already have like shopping your wardrobe that's what we do on this channel once in a while a little bit of hard just to like refresh our wardrobe and get to see what's going on in ice street brands so yeah guys thank you once more and for today's video guys like i said before we are going to be styling this white leg pan like god that is, this is red when i mean red this is very very rich so colors has been in for some seasons now so yeah different hot color that is colors that maybe you won't just wear on a very normal day but these days it's kind of even colors that are kind of very hot very harsh you can still just rub them on a very normal day the trend has kind of very has kind of changed so yeah i'm gonna be sharing with you guys six different ways that i style this band it was supposed to be five words i just said mm, i just add one <laughs> to to this style so i hope you enjoy watching so guys if you do if you don't subscribe you should subscribe to the channel and activate your bell for more videos and yeah guys having said that yeah let's just get into this fun video because i can't wait like always i'll be showing you guys up there what i have for you guys so let's get into today's first outfit so guys today's first outfit i wanted to like play with the red because when you were dealing with like colors like red um or this like very harsh color you just want to be kind of very careful because you don't just want to like mess the thing up that is why like, sometimes some people they find it very difficult they just like stick with neutral or they find it very difficult to like introduce color into their wardrobe talking about people people like me i just started a little bit uh, i just started it recently because i was i was i'm not a kind of i'm not kind of neutral girl but uh, anything too hot color i don't really know but recently i just kind of see how fun and how cute how different it is sometimes you just want to feel cute and different why not introduce some four colors to your outfit and then yeah so the first outfit i just paired this oversized knitwear dress as you can see it has this this kind of black and red not really red it's kind of like a, a bubble kind of pink so i just really love the fact that it just really goes so well with the red pants so it just really like work together i love the outfit very chic very easy to like dress it up a little bit more i just went for that's my over the knee before the knee boots so yeah because whether i see kind of a little bit cold so yeah i think with the boot it just really works so well with black boots because the black is just picking through the knit wear uh that's one is from zara picking through the knitwear and i think the combo just really works so well and with the bag as well i think it's just a very chic even if you are the type that don't really love like you know colors but i think it's a very cool very subtle on the eye as well i think something like this maybe you're going to like it because i think it's so cool so kind of very relaxed yeah so this kind of red is not just your kind of very sharp red it's a kind of very subtle red that's one thing i love about it very 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 rich so yeah guys this is what i did on the first outfit so you can as well throw on a black coat or maybe like a black trench coat and yeah maybe or something very neutral but at the same time you still want to be very careful with the kind of coat you throw on this outfit so you don't get to like ruin the whole thing or if you want to like make it more wow like go with a red coat as well i think it's going to be kind of too too much because the white neck pan is already red all over the place so putting on a red coat is just going to like ruin the whole thing i just prefer to work with black and yeah i think you can't really go wrong and yeah guys let me think in the comment section about this our very first outfit i think it's very appropriate for work for me thing yeah why not so guys outfit number two the next outfit so guys the next outfit i went for this my total neck yeah that's total neck i don't know which color is reflecting but it is not black i went for like navy blue yeah navy blue is another way to introduce color to your outfit at the same time it was like color not color anyway but if you don't want to like go with the classic black 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 you still want to stick with something very neutral something very calm on the eyes navy blue is another great option if you don't have navy blue in your wardrobe definitely you can go with black it's almost the same thing but yeah i just prefer the navy blue because i think it works so well with the red pants it's kind of very subtle on the eye very cool and kind of very friendly so i think these outfits even if you don't really love you know rocking colors i think this outfit is something that maybe you can you would definitely love to like wear because i think it's not super super all over the place because using colors that's a little bit dark to like you know pair something that is very sharp it's a way to like more of like mute that color a little bit because if you want to go for something very sharp on top of something very kind of loud it's gonna like be too too loud so yeah that is why i just went for this um a navy blue knitwear i have red but i don't want to do all red 
at, uh, outfit so i just went for something very cool very calm very easy still with that over the name before the name boots that one is from jimmy Choo. i love that boot that's one of my favorite very comfortable so yeah guys um that's a neat word that one i don't i don't i got one from my husband's wardrobe <laughs> that one is not my house it's just for anyway my husband anyway guys so i love the outfit and to just make that um navy blue just to work so well just to be in harmony with the with the with the red pants because i think the red is kind of all over the place but at the same time very likable very kind of a uh, very calm so i just went for that's my coat from strata views i just straight on the outfit i love the fact that it's kind of navy blue at the same time reflecting a little bit of gray so it just really brightens up the outfit make it look very chic very kind of um office appropriate and kind of it's really really standard i just love it because the contrast between the coat uh the blue coat and the and the navy blue uh knitwear i think it just you can see the contrast just really work out so well i love it i think it's so chic but you let me know in the comment section about this our second outfit and so just like brighten the outfit up a little bit more as you can see from the cutaway i just threw on uh a necklace that's what i did on that outfit because the fact that both color the coat and the and the knitwear is kind of it's not too similar but i just really love how clean and how chic it looks i really wanted to brighten up a little bit uh my neck area that is why i went for that necklace so i think it just really added a little bit of like color to that outfit just like brighten it up a little bit more than the way it looks without the necklace and yeah i just throw on that my bag just like pick through the gold from the necklace and the bag with a gold chain i think it really works so well very chic very last it's kind of look expensive anyway to my own opinion i think it's a very cool outfit that like i said before even if you don't like rocking colors but these are ways to like you know introduce color to your outfit at the same time you are not overdoing it you're, you're not kind of um color is not all over the place so if you don't really love color you can just like you just have to play with it in a way that you know the red is kind of all over the place just go for other maybe like your top like your coat or bag just like use something a little bit dark to like contrast the red to just more of like to like mute the color instead of going for red and uh, and blue and the purple is kind of very very loud so guys i love this second outfit let me know in the comment section I think you can't really go wrong it just really works so well i think it just really looks so chic and very kind of easy so yeah guys let me think in the comment section about this our second outfit and um, would you rock this outfit and let me know and uh, yeah let's move to outfit number three so guys this next outfit i want to do something very much more loud like extra so as you can see from the cutaway what i did on that outfit i just kept that my black bodysuit with a sweetheart make i just really love that if where you live is still kind of very good you can go with your bodysuit and yeah or maybe light knit wear but i just went with that if i get to go if i get to be going out definitely i'm going to throw on a scarf because the weather is still kind of a little bit a little bit cold so yeah i just really love the outfit very chic but definitely not for everybody because what i did there like i said if i wanted to do something a bit different from you know from others i just went with that my yellow oversized blazer on top of the outfit yes red and yellow work together trust me guys the pace of what's your style what you're comfortable with if you're the type that love rocking colors red and yellow is kind of it works so well but at the same time it's all over the place because yellow and red what do you expect i love the outfit in order for me to like mute the outfit a little bit because it's kind of very loud already the yellow and the and the, and the red so i just went for like uh, that my bodysuit the black so you can go with black bodysuit or something very very neutral you don't want to add anything very colorful underneath anyway although depends on your style I love the fact that the outfit is kind of very chic very kind of relaxed i just want it to be a little bit much more casual at the same time fun at the same time on trend so yeah. see the blazer is just doing the whole thing i love the outfit i think it's kind of very casual very stylish if you want to go for brunch if you want to do your thing if you want to run around if you just want to go for shopping very comfortable very stylish and very on trend yellow and red perfect like i said before it's not for everybody because it's kind of very very loud so yellow and red so yeah guys i love the outfit and i think it's so cute with the bag as well what do you guys think let me know in the comment section so guys let's move to outfit number four like so guys the next outfit i just kept that my bodysuit yeah what i did there i went for another color of blazer that is that is what i did on this uh fourth outfit because maybe for you the yellow on red is not your thing it's kind of too loud so that's why i went for that my burgundy um blazer oversized from h and i just really love the fact that it just really complements each other the red and the burgundy um blazer it just really works so well so so chic and so cute in case you have maybe like colors like this in your wardrobe you're not the too loud color kind of girl so this i think you can definitely like 
work with a second blazer i love the outfit very cheap but what i did on that outfit i still want to add a little bit of color mm -hmm. yeah so what i did on that outfit because i want it to be very uh kind of cute and kind of you know spring appropriate uh, uh early spring so i just throw on that my white chunky sneakers from zara to since they go mm -hmm. because i just really wanted to like brighten up the outfit i don't want to make it look very chic Obviously, if these colors are not your thing, you can as well like switch the, the, the sneakers or something that you feel is kind of very comfortable and is your style. You can as well always like switch or any of these things that you're not comfortable with. So I really wanted to add a little bit of like brightening up that out because the red uh, trouser is not all over the place. It's kind of very cool and friendly red. And the blazer is kind of, you know, burgundy is always kind of... Uh, so I just wanted to like brighten up the out. I just went for that my oversized sneakers from Zara and with the white bag. Oh my god, I think it just really elevates that outfit. It just really like brighten up the outfit. It looks so chic. I think it really looks very casual, very stylish, and kind of very, very cute. So you can go with um maybe a normal sneaker, but that sneaker is kind of very chunky because that trouser, the trouser is kind of very, very long. So this outfit might not be for everybody because sometimes when you put on this trouser and it's kind of too too long, so it's kind of gathered uh, on your ankle in a way that is not really fun. So but sometimes I do love this style. Sometimes very relaxed, very chic. You know, like on a very cool day that I don't care. I just want to feel good. I just want to feel relaxed. I just throw on that my oversized, very wide leg and very long trouser. Throw on your sneakers is another way to style and look chic at the same time. But I think it's not for everybody. Anyway, I just really love the outfit. I think the white sneakers popping out from the red, white and red, guys, I love it. Let me know if you think you can't really go wrong with two colors like this. Red and white always work so well. And with the burgundy, I think, yeah, let me know if you think section, guys. Let's go to outfit number five. So, guys, the next outfit, I went for T-shirts. Yeah, white T-shirts. That's what I went for because I wanted to, like, still create a casual outfit and very relaxed because the first two, three, the first two outfits is more of, like, office, kind of elegant, kind of chic outfits. I wanted to do something for every day. Like, every day, everyone go to the post office, going to pick your kids from school, go to the supermarket. That is why I just, like, you know, did more of a very casual uh like my day-to-day -day kind of life uh, style so yeah so this fifth outfit i think it's so chic what i just really did there i just went for my white uh t-shirt from zara i got on last year and i just threw on a black blazer mm -hmm. if you cannot do yellow you cannot do burgundy definitely you can do black or you have black so yeah I just run a black blazer because black and red really really works so well. If you're not a color kind of girl, trust me, black and white a black and red is something that you will still definitely love. Obviously, we have red and black in our wardrobe, I think so. Hopefully, everybody. So, yeah, I just really love how, how kind of calm the, it looks and how chic. And uh, what I just did, the only thing I just did there to like brighten the outfit a little bit more is just the white t shirt under the blazer. It had a little bit of like a, a black wool design on it. So, peeking through the blazer at the same time, very chic, very casual, very relaxed to do your thing, run errand. I just think it's a very chic look. And to make that outfit kind of very interesting, very on trend, and like very on fashion, fashion on trend. Anyway, I just think of that my chunky boots. I think it just leaving that outfit look very edgy, very chic, and kind of very, very stylish and trendy. So, yeah, guys, let's move to the last outfit. I can't wait. I just really love this outfit. Outfit number six guys yes so guys this outfit i love still with mm -hmm, the red what i did on this i just throw on my oversized hoodie from um it turned three seasons ago i love it it's kind of very very oversized so it was kind of a little bit difficult for me to like you know tuck it on you know under my bra so if you have something that is not super so oversized you can still go with it but i just love how oversized because this is just more of like oversized kind of vibe going on if you don't like it like this you can as well speed it for something a little bit defeat a little bit fitted but this is the only pink oversized um hood that i have so yeah the only pink so i just make it work with what i the way i want it I just like tuck it under my bra and yeah i pink and red oh my god it just really it's a very chic very cool color you can't really go wrong if you even if you don't like too much color trust me pink and red this shade of red obviously it just really works so well very cool very eye-catching i think it's just something that you know when you pass home can just like you know turn and really go wrong that is the word so i just really love this outfit very chic very relaxed very casual very stylish you're not doing too much it's as if you did so much to like you know come up with the outfit meanwhile you didn't do anything it's just a, it's just the pants and the oversized um and a hoodie because i think if you want to go for something a little bit fitted yeah it's gonna take away from the trouser because yeah if you go for something a little bit oversized it will just like keep that oversized vibe going on and maybe where you're living if it's still kind of a little bit cold you can also throw on a jacket on that 
shacket on that outfit like a black shacket cream shacket oh my god guys it's gonna go so so well or if you don't have shacket like oversized a denim jacket as well black or the same vibe the same thing it's just after that i think you can't really go wrong with very chic very stylish and yeah let me know what you think in the comment section about this our six outfit that just good for you guys and yeah no no me arabi subito or quasi finito so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and if you love this video do not forget to subscribe for more videos with your back come check out us on ig let me know which is your favorite outfit and see you all in my next video thank you so much guys bye